Good afternoon and welcome to Options Tender. It is Friday. Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'll, I'm going to go through SPY on uh, the daily 65. Check out the Elliott Wave count and then we're going to go through uh, VIX. And uh, don't forget to watch this weekend video to come. Why we went, uh, I made a short on, uh, uh, sh short on Tesla and I made a YouTube short talking about the short. That's confusing. Um, so... Make sure you check out this weekend video. Go down to that bottom right hand corner if you're new here and subscribe. Hit that Options Tender logo. All right. And if you want to help this channel out, if any of this information helps you in any way, don't forget to like, like the video, comment. You can go down in the description and help out in any of those fashions. And we have a free Discord down there as well. So here we go. SPY on the daily time frame. So, wonderful day today trading. We finally got some uh some impulse. Okay, we did gap down. Now, <clears throat> the video yesterday talked about us turning short. We went short on this last push up right into resistance and look where it took us to the top of this triangle. This is a this is a triangle. We're in a range play right now. We're in a range play, so we play in to in. I am biased that the triangle will break to the downside, but we have to we have to confirm that. Okay, so we went short right at the top there. Okay, uh, gap down. We're pushing right now. Now I covered some of my shorts, the short term ones. Um, I trade options just in case. So I took off some of those contracts. We have our swings still on and we hedge those swings. Super important. And why? Because we came right into this demand area. We talk about this just about every single day. We have these boxes here because those are consolidation areas. That's what, that's how support and resistance are created. And check out the video above if uh, you need some help on if you're new to support and resistance and uh, trend lines as well. So we came right into support. And so we took off, we're still short, we're still net short. So if we continue to move down, you know, that's gonna be good for us either way. If we get a bounce, which I think we will, if we get a bounce, then I think uh, we'll short back into that bounce. Now that we're in this position again, to where we possibly have a one, two, one, two setup to be bearish, Price action should be pretty bold. It should be pretty aggressive to the downside. So any bounce, we're probably going to get to that 8 EMA. We're probably not going to, uh, we might spike through it or so, but we're going to start trending if that's the case, if we're in this bearish scenario. All right. Um, I, I did say, and I, I want to speak to uh, some of the people that are in the Discord. I was talking about um, uh, one of these days, Perhaps we might even get a four percent move to the downside. It might not be spy. It might be. It might be QQQ. It might be IWM. Sometimes uh, IWM is pretty fierce and relentless. Now the reason why why is that? And I want to just go to the Elliott wave count on the daily time frame. Look at that. We have uh, our our Tesla plays are really starting to work out here. Okay, so Elliott wave on the daily time frame. We have our one, two, one, two setup. We're getting into the third and most aggressive wave. All right. That's going to lead to four or five. I don't know. We'll probably see some 2% days in this, maybe three. We're going to have a three and a four and a five. And this is, to me, this whole move here is just going to be a wave one to the downside. Okay. Because I, I think. I think we're going to take out these lows. And in order to do that, we have to we have to have a wave structure. So I think we're going to have this nice large wave one. It's not then that we're going to have that 4%, 3% move. It's after we get our pullback for wave two, then we're going to look for a, a massive wave three. Almost double the size of this one. In about the same amount of time okay so i do think I, 
you know, I'm not talking tomorrow. I'm not talking. I was joking around and saying, well, FOMC is coming out. But just want to explain that. we, You know, if this plays out the way that uh, we've been talking about for quite some time, and there's the biggest bear, the big bear picture that I made a long time ago. It, I probably made it somewhere back here. Um, I, I will pin that up there as well so you can see what my plans for this whole move are. Okay? On the big bear scheme of things. All right. Enough with that. We're going to go to the 65 minute. Check out the regular, the te regular technical analysis, traditional. And notice we're still in the triangle. Okay. It's still a chop zone. This is not a massive move. It seems like it feels like today that, that this is never going to end, right? So we had our impulsive wave move down. Our wave one should probably be a little bit longer in this one, but I still want to start to cover because we're in that zone, okay? And um, also, another reason, I'll, I'll just go ahead and click over here for a second. And that's why I look at all, all of the uh, different products that are out there. ES, the futures... It kind of gave us a hint. Not only are we coming into weekly demand on ES, but I can count one, two, three, four, possible. This is a possible five wave move down. Now, it might not be over because this, is a, I, I think it's forming an ending diagonal here uh, going into demand. But even if you go on a lower time frame, I think we can count five waves in there already. So I, I you just don't want to press your luck when when you're uh you know when you're in the money you have some winning trades you know you, you want to push them that's what kept us into the trade because we didn't have five waves but you don't want to uh press your luck after that okay so we're still in the triangle it's still a range play we have three wave move up and now we're getting an impulsive move which i think this is a five wave and this is a five wave. So we're getting an impulsive move. Perhaps we back test this bear flag that we have here. Back test the gap after we find some footing. And then start heading lower to break the triangle. Now, what happens if we hold the triangle, this gap? If we hold this area, it's still a bullish play that, that may be in because we might have a three wave move correction. And you can look at the video I made on Monday if you want to see in detail the scenario where this is a triangle and that this is a uh, continuation move for the bulls and that this is all just a wave four. Okay, you can check that out. Uh, again, I'll put it up top. It's the one that says uh, chop or drop. I believe it's from Monday. Okay, so at, at this range, we might not even stop moving downward until we get to the bottom of this range it might be all in one move not sure that's uh how you know that it yeah i mean it can be in one move because this would be a five three five if we make a new low here that would be a zigzag a possible zigzag okay and triangles are made up of zigzags they're made of three wave moves each way okay so we'll have to look out for that we can't get too mega bearish when we're coming into these supports we start breaking them, we have something else going on. And if we start bouncing and rejecting off of these areas, 50, 60%, maybe even more shallow, then we continue. We continue that bearish move. All right. So let's look at our primary wave count and we can get rid of one of the scenarios. So we're kind of we're kind of down to two two scenarios really we can eliminate this one we thought we might be able to break to the upside on this triangle early on but we just we weren't getting a strong move here we didn't the breadth was bad for the market for example nvidia couldn't get its footing um apple couldn't get its footing a lot of different plays that we we're trying to do couldn't get its footing so we're taking this off the table And we're taking this off the table. All right. So you see this one playing out that we had talked about 
in Monday's video, chop or drop. We got our move right into where we talked about 786 retracement. And now we're heading down. So we're going to continue to look at this. Now, if we have our five waves in, we don't make a new low here. It doesn't really matter. Either way, if we have our five waves move, impulsive move here, I set up the retracement now. So we have to go from top of the move to the bottom of the move. And we'll be looking for a retracement back here before heading lower. All right, so all in all, this triangle, all it's doing is one of two things. All right, we're now in a situation where we're triangulating, making three wave moves for the bulls to go up. I'm going to take this retracement out. Or we are setting one, two, one, two, one, two. We're setting up in a triangle and an equilibrium for a big move to the downside. And that's that's our primary move. All right. So if this is uh correct, we have we have our different um 1618s. We'll keep them the same color as the the wave count. So for example, this 1 2 setup, we're looking at wave 3 being approximately down to the 4 11 area. For this 1 2 setup, we're looking at this being approximately 433. Now these can stretch. These can stretch much further than the 162%. Uh, the larger one is is the most dominant thesis. And these other ones have to uh, stretch out enough to get to those points. So, um, you know, it's not always, once you get to the smaller degree ones, it's not always going to work out perfect. But when you get to these points... You want to see that you have, well, by then, a three-wave structure. You'll have a one, two retracement, three into the 162. And if you, it looks like that's a five-wave move down, a five, three, five, then you want to start getting out of your positions. Okay? If it looks like it's starting to complete and ready for a bounce for four and then a five, you want to get out of your positions. This is the messy spot. Okay, this is what you want. You want the long part. All right. Now, on the that's it. That's it for that. Um, yes, we do have indicators and such going on, but we'll show all that into the weekend video. Right now, just emphasizing that I'm covering some of my short-term shorts and adding on some calls to hedge my swings. All right, now you see the VIX with some action, okay? The whole point of me talking about this video here, uh, the last couple of videos, we kept talking about the VIX. We had a gap here. We uh, closed that gap and came into support. And now we're pushing off of support. That was, that was just the whole point. We, as soon as we closed this gap here, we're like, okay, all right, we're coming into support and that gap area was closed. We've got to be really careful with our calls. The calls uh, for the SPY, for all of our individual names. So we're di we're doing that now. It's the opposite. Anytime you have calls, you have to be. Or, uh, excuse me. Um, puts are starting to work, and if you start to get into resistance areas, you have to be careful. So right now, this uh, I I'm going to have to extend this channel. We have uh, big resistance up here, and then uh, this is an initial move up. So you don't have any higher lows or anything, so we have to form some sort of structure. So I, I, you just don't go straight up. This is an initial move up, so we're going to need some sort of one, two, one, two. It could go on, but it just could be a simple one, two setup. Can't just go straight forever. Okay, so that's why I'm expecting VIX to pull back a little bit as well. It could still go a little higher. Uh, we are into some resistance area anyway. If you see all these touches here, right in this 14, 
a little above 14 zone. That's uh, used as resistance, resistance, resistance here, here, here. So, you know, we're, we're probably going to pull back from here or near, maybe the, at the uh, moving averages, pull back and then start heading up. Um, that's, that is it. That's going to be it for today. Uh, don't forget to like the video. If this information helps you out, consider going down to the description and helping us out in any way that you possibly can and uh, continue to be safe trading out there. Have a wonderful day. We will talk to you for the weekend video coming up tomorrow.